welcome back everybody uh, we're gonna jump straight into a match right today uh, right after I show you one thing uh, well two things uh, first thing uh, Mech Bay uh, the Talos has been changed slightly uh, so we had an extra double heatsink we picked up somewhere else I can't remember where so we were able to drop the double heatsink kit in here so we got because we needed to have two double heatsinks because of the core so we were able to fit that in I was able to get an LRM 15 in here now I pulled out the uh, incendiary ammo and went with another standard ton of LRM ammo dropped the ER large laser in this arm heat efficiency is actually pretty good when we're not using the two rocket packs uh, it's 65 69 alpha strike is 69 heat so when the rocket packs go off obviously it's going to be a lot higher but still it's actually not that bad uh, so we're going to go with this for the Talos nothing else changed on any of the other mechs they all stayed the same uh, the barracks we were able to raise our pilots up slightly so our affairs on uh, I increased his tactics just to get more initiative everybody else went guts for the minus five percent heat with the exception of dust raker who's going to be our melee pilot eventually uh, and we went piloting with him so our ace pilot so that's kind of how that played out so if we go to the command center real quick here let's flip over uh, we got two quests or two things we can take we're going to take do a battle in the lowlands against pirates which I think we're going to do or there's noisy neighbors which is against local government um, but we're going to go after against after the pirates today it's only two of nine salvage but it is a th uh, one and a half skull mission so we probably have two lances of guys um, so I'm not sure how this is going to actually play out. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should avoid that. If it's too late, well, let's try it. Let's see how we do. We need to try and pick up an Urban Mech Part 2 if we can. All right, let's go this route. 2 and 9. Payment's not that great, but, uh, you know, at least the uh, we should be able to get enough salvage out of this. Uh, yeah. Okay, not a bad map for this. Looks like we got no help. Alright, we got our guys up here. Um, I don't know if we're going to have reinforcements. If they do, they're probably... Well, I don't know. They may come from this side. It seems like a small map, so it might just be a straight up fight. Fingers crossed. Uh, let's find out what's going on, GB. Uh, let's try and take the hill. We are not going to sneak by them in a defilade in this one. Got it. Max B, no shooting. Yeah. Get up that road as fast as you can. So much for that tactics giving me better initiative. Let's hope there's no reinforcements. Okay, nothing. I'm here. Double time. Let's go. Okay, get the ECM up there. Oh, I heard something ping. Don't see anything though. Not crest that hill if we can avoid it. They're probably just sitting there. Still nothing, huh? Gotta be really careful here. My my uh, lighter mechs can quickly outpace my heavier ones, and I don't really have all that many long range weapons on these guys. Well, I guess we do really. The LRMs and stuff will help, but not that much. I'm expecting like three mediums and a and a light, but we'll see how it goes here. Still nothing. Are 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Should I not be seeing something? What do you need? They're stealthy as shiz. I'll give them that. You will not be able to shoot like that, will you? Maybe there. Still nothing. Still nothing. That will be done. They're shooting. Just running. All right, we got eyes on now. What do we got here? Urban Mech Fire Starter. Uh, yeah. We'll take the two heat. Oh, it's the missile version. Okay. That's not good. He's got to die fast. We, got bad guys. we sure as hell do. And something with lots of ECM back there. So hopefully, let's hope it's not a stealth bomber. Nope. What are you? Apollo, maybe? <laughs> Vindicator. Don't friggin' coax him. I don't want to get too close. Firing. Oh, yeah, man. Good shot. He's going to unload with missiles. I don't want to be close to that because I'll get spillover damage, of course. I'm hoping the Treb can get in close enough to hit him with dead fire. Or, sorry, not dead fire, but SRMs. It's going to be a roll of the dice whether or not... Oh, he's going before me. He's going for the kill. Huh. A little hot, are you? Out of range for the SRM incendiaries. Acknowledge. Um. Let's do that. Take this. That's all you've got. That'll shut him up for quite some time, I think. Um, oh. Nah, I gotta get up as fast as I can here. Okay, what do we got over here? Mongoose, Vindicator, and a Firestar. Okay, that's not so bad. Not so bad. I should just, um... Do the same thing, like this. Nice. Well, that's a start. I think we got lucky with these pirates. I think we got lucky. How are you doing for armor? You're not that bad. Let's just shoot this guy and move away, though. Oh. Dude, you're like crack shot here. Yeah, that locust, you can see, already see, starting to become a limited value. I can't push or they'll just shred them. But, I mean, like, 20% and then 15% with that X-Pulse. You hit both times, man. It's a crack shot. We need to get a witness in here. Acknowledge. 
let's shut this uh, pirate down here. Oh, four hits. Yeah, he's running. He's running. There we go. Um, let's push these guys. Let's push them. Not the best chances to hit. Although that's pretty darn good. See, that's pr that's actually not that bad heat. Let's go with the dead fire. Uh, and let's just try and wreck this fire starter as best we can. That's a lot of energy. Okay, not bad. Enemy critical damage detected. Yeah. Long range missiles. Depleted. Depleted. Um, can we get... I think... Yeah, the SRMs are in range. We're going to go with the uh, Artemis on this. Beautiful. I know we're losing a lot of good stuff, but... Trying to stay alive here. That's it for you. Commander? Got it. Firing everything yeah. That's a pretty damn heavy damage weapon, I gotta say. We got that clan um, heavy medium laser, and it's got more range than a regular medium laser. I want to get it into the um, trebuchet, but we need a double heat sink kit for that. I'm your See if we can heat this gap a bit. Yeah, like oh, somebody had AMS. Still took seven heat though, so that's all right. I think we're going to pummel them with incendiaries. Okay. He's not doing anything. He might shoot his... Well, I don't think he can actually shoot his LRMs. Vindicator risk, eh? Mongoose did nothing. Wow, I can't see the Vindicator, eh? Don't know if this ER large laser was a better choice, but it seems to have a much better chance to hit. Uh, yeah. We're only going to get two two pieces out of this, so... Um, nah. Roger. Reactor is still too hot for startup. <laughs> Oh man, you know your life's in trouble when. Oh, we got a melee boy here. 37, huh? I live to serve. Onward. Serve it up to this guy if you can. Yeah, I get the torso. Oh well. Critical hit, Commander. Ooh, we had an ER medium laser. Affirmative. He's fleeing the interview. Um what do you need? Let's do that. 
then let's do this and this and this yeah we're threatening the heat but we're gonna do it anyway oh it's a hit too Whatever his AMS is an overload. What do you say we find out? Sure is. So I said, la I mistakenly thought last time that we didn't have a PPC. We do, we have an ER PPC. The only problem is, is it generates 50 heat. Still too hot for startup. <laughs> He's not starting up anytime soon. Um, it generates 50 heat, and we just don't have a mech that can sink that other than the, uh, the Talos. And even the Talos is like, that's just pushing it. Ah, uh, yeah, let's end him. Can't have him getting back up again. Even if that uh, urban mech can restart, he still not can't do anything this turn. I'm not worried about him. Which I don't think he will be able to restart. I think he's taken so much damage to his uh, heat sinks and core that the heat is just way way too much, like way too excessive for him. Oh, there we go. Side attack. Let's move. Don't hit me. Okay. I'm on it. There we go. Target destroyed. Now, how much has he got in his leg here? 27. There goes the right torso. Exchange. Oh, man. All the best stuff. I don't know why this guy's not panicking still. He's got nothing but a leg and a center torso left. We get the leg? No. Of course not. Of course not. All right, 190,000. Not too bad. Locust took a lot of damage. That was from that urban mech. Now, it's the R25, so it's different than the one we have. I think this one's better. Um, because it's got the stealth armor and everything. We're going to take that. We'll be able to complete that. Um, AMS Mark II. We don't have any AMS ammo. ER medium laser is not bad for the range. But well, we were going to take, start taking stuff that was a little different than what we normally take. Oh god, this would be even better. We should probably take this. We've got a double load of AMS ammo. If we get lucky, we get it. Swarm incendiary. That's not a bad choice either. Maybe we take that for the uh, trebuchet. That's a possibility. Although I'm thinking this for the Talos, for now. Yeah. Heat 46. See, we can't sink that. That's the problem, right? That's the sad thing about being at a point with no double heat sink kits. It's like you can't sink most of the heat. All right, let's go this route. All right, Mongoose part, Vindicator part, Flamer. Ah, light PPC with T-cap. Medium laser, recon sensor. So that's even, I mean, that's okay. We can put that in something too. All right. Let's go ahead real quick and put together that urban mech. Get that in, get that going here. Now we wanted to do the R25. We can't. We can put together the R10. Where's the R25? Oh, 
I guess because we don't have enough parts. Maybe we need two. Which one does this have? Huh. This is probably the AC-10 version or the rifle version. So let's not, let's hold off until we can get another part for this or something. Or the R-20. Alright, well hang on. Damn. Oh well, no big deal. Let's get these guys fixed real quick. We'll go ahead and jump and take another mission here real quick before the end of the day. That you is yeah, financial report coming up. That's fine. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. 439,000. It's a good thing our light mechs are easy to fix. Alright. Um, just double check to make sure our mechs are fine. I'm pretty sure they are. Yep. Uh, let's take that other mission. Noisy neighbors. Gonna go full salvage. Same Lance, let's go. Yeah, I know. Command interface initiated. Well, it looks like we got a support Lance. That's fine. That just might mean that there's more enemies. Alright. Let's go kill their ass. They probably got reinforcements from over here. So we're going right after them. We're going to go right down their throat. Your going full throttle. Give me some eyes on, Bubba. Waiting on you, Commander. Give him some fire support. Alright, we're still down a ramp, so that is going to give us a bit of protection. Full speed, kiddo. Full speed. That's what I need. Copy that. Because my full speed ain't going to be anywhere near as good as yours. So I thought about putting the uh, 250 core into this Talos. I mentioned that, I think, the last episode. However, the one thing I didn't realize was that the 250 core is 15 and a half tons, whereas the 200 core is only eight and a half tons. So I don't know where I'm going to get that seven tons from. <laughs> to make it faster, so I think it's probably good how it is. Okay, they're right there. Let's not, um... Alright, you're hidden. Let's not start a fire here. That's your wheeled assault gun. Yeah, we don't want to be too close to that guy. What can I do for you? Let's get into striking range and play. detection range. Bandit, huh? Where are you? Hitman. A bandito. That's actually pretty damn good. He's what, 55 tons? It's not bad. We got lots of we got lots of regular lerms, so let's drop some on this guy. All right, not bad. Not bad. We'll take it. One of the few times we get to use regular lerms. Don't know if this guy's got uh, full armor or what. Oh, what was that? Oh. Herbie? It is. Laser B. Risk 3. I wonder what these got on them. Yeah. Let's give them the what for, though. Let's move. Ferret, huh? Oh, wow. Well, that's what you get for uh, having to deal with a risk, Mac. Come on. Let's start with this.
It is not. So we've exposed the structure on this guy, probably on the turret, most likely. Which means if we can get in, um, if we can get the Talos in there with the barrage, we might be able to finish him up. Not get too close to that freaking Hetzer. Double time. Let's go. Okay, they got a chopper here. Yellow jacket. That thing's gotta go. But we're gonna fire on this guy. Alright, looks like we got one one flamer on it. I don't know if this is Hetzer's the LRM version or not. Yeah, damn, he's moving out of the way. I hear ya. The speed of these guys is just insane. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. What do we got? A 63 on that guy, eh? But a 43 on him. Let's try. Let's see if we can kill the yellow jacket. Nope. Damn. Well. I think he's got the tag barrage, that yellow jacket. Okay, let's get up here. Um, let's go with the Inferno and the SRMs. Copy that. Okay, structure exposed. It's not bad. He's going to take a barrage this turn. I'm going to use the Talos barrage on him. I'm going to try and target behind him though. Or, no, you know what? We'll take it off to the side over here somewhere. Oh, he's running. Chicken. At least it makes it easier for figuring out where we're going to target him. Uh, the ferret went back here somewhere. So I'm going to target, like, right here. And maybe we clip that ferret somewhere. No. Yeah, whatever. Let's hope he doesn't barrage. Looks like he's just running, but... Nope. Okay, not bad. Not bad. They may get reinforcements, they may not. I would have thought that would have, we would have heard about them by now, but... Don't be an AC-20, don't be an AC-20. It is an AC- nope, it's an Ultra-20. Or an Ultra-10. Don't shoot me in the back. Thanks for showing up, guys. Much appreciated. All right, GV. Waiting for orders. On my way. Thought you were supposed to be going double time. Oof! A lot of damage, but no pen. Jesus. Which armor does this guy have? Oh, I see. We're spreading it around. Because of course we are. Aye, aye. Roger. Okay, everything on this guy still. we got to keep him nice and toasty. Confirmed. Scored a critical hit. 
Oh, he's dropping a load. All right, let's see if we can finish this up now. Well, we won't get the one guy back here unless he moves forward. But if we get lucky, we might be able to claim all three of these guys. Oh, he's deciding to shoot. Is he going to get shut down, though? Oh, they don't like me at nope. All. Oh, he's got a radical heatsink kit. Forgot about that. Can we get... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's stealth. There. Oh, he's not stealth, though. So the helicopter we can't get. The other guys we can. He's pretty, uh... Pretty well protected. Let's do this. Hopefully the dead fire can kill the heads here, but we'll see. Nope. Damn it. His side was damaged. I thought we could have penned it, but I guess not. Are you shooting? What are you doing? He's point blank. Sorry, I, I right clicked on him, guys. I didn't mean to do that. He's still thinking. Don't shoot. Why do I have a nasty feeling? His oh, he didn't shoot. Okay, I thought he was going to give me a headshot there. I was like, I got a nasty feeling he's going to take my head clean off. I wrecked the camera. I apologize. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. A little better. I used to play Lord of the Rings online. Don't know if you guys have ever heard of the game or played it, but... I always played in with the camera mode kind of over my shoulder like this, kind of three quarters down, looking over my shoulder so I could see what I was doing. But my friends would always play with the top-down view, so they would always be playing this way to see where they are, what's around them. But I would always play like, you know, zoomed in like, like this because it seemed more real. And even though I couldn't see what was behind me most of the time or off to the left or right, it was just more real, and that's why I like the way I like to play. But anyway... Um, what are we doing? Witness. What can I do for you? Can uh -huh. you kill this Hetzer? Please and thank you. All weapons are go. God damn. What are we going to do? Take all his armor off before we kill him? Don't hit me. As much as I want you to go after that Hetzer. We gotta see if we can get this guy to bail out. Let's make sure this guy doesn't take any uh, the toll on us. Oh, his ballistic is jammed. That's why he didn't fire at us. Okay, we don't know what his weapon was. Could have been an Ultra 10, or could have had a, you could have had a pair of guns, but I think it was an Ultra something or other. We do have an Ultra 20 still kicking around, and I have no idea where that vehicle went to. <laughs> He's gone. He's like back here somewhere, probably. All right, well, let's multi-target. Oh, we can't multi-target him. Let's just keep this guy toasty. I want him to bail out. I don't want to destroy him. Plus 45 heat, eh? Copy that. I was going to say the guy could probably fry eggs on his, uh, on his mech, but most likely they would just burn to a crisp as soon as he broke them open. They'd be burnt before they even hit the top of the mech. Someone used to tell me the uh, British soldiers used to fry eggs in their tanks in uh, North Africa. 
I don't know whether that's true or not, but I can see you could just if you just cleaned a uh, part of the metal off. Oh, damn it! Warning. Armor low. You could just fry the egg right on the tank. I don't see why you wouldn't. It's so hot, right? It's probably an old wives' tale, though. But you know, it sounds cool. He's got more back armor than he does have front armor. Let's not go into the flames, though. I'm your spaniel. Get this guy to bail out. Yes! Alright. Let's clean it up. That was real lucky. I didn't think he'd bail. I thought he was going to hang out till the end. thought for sure he'd hang out till the end. But kudos to him. That was a good fight for him. He really, he didn't really have any support. The one vehicle took off on him right away. All right, full speed. Uh, I don't know where they are. Gonna use the barrage on them, but gotta find them first. My witness, get up here. Alright, there's that guy. And he... I was going to shoot these buildings too. Oh well. I don't know where the other guy is though. Where would he have gone to? So is this the chopper's turn? Or is... Yeah, probably because it's like so laggy. The edge of the map is right here, so that guy's either gone down this way or down this way. The chopper we should be able to kill really easy, but I don't know which way that vehicle is. Okay, let's... Uh, you can't run down there. How far can you jump? That's actually not bad. Let's jump over here. <laughs> you do. Commander? Let's move like this. Ah, uh, there he is. Okay. Let's see if you can claim this guy. Firing everything I've got. Nice. Vehicle killed. Hildco. He's doing a little dance. He's running. Damn it. Aye, aye. Stop fucking running on me. He ran. I mean, I don't blame him, but, like, it's really annoying. Either give them a way to get off the map board. Full I don't know. Or have them come back to the fight. I mean, I like the idea that they run because it's realistic. Um, but they need an escape, right? Because yes, otherwise, what's the point? Oh, you can't... Uh, well, let's jump, duh. Got it, Commander. It's like herding cats over here. Okay, witness, see if you can find that guy for me. He's down here somewhere. Oh, wait. I heard a beep. Uh, that guy's got some movement speed. I have no idea where he is. Arr, Farazan. As soon as I find him, I can barrage him, but... Well, he can't go past here, so... We'll move her down. Try and stop him from getting around here. I'm here. Roger. Still nothing. 
Yeah, the risk is unjammed. Ah, uh, you got to come back, buddy. There's nowhere else to go. There you are. Now, if these guys get to kill after all that, I'm going to be so upset. It's 45 tons, though. I mean... Um, let's try and give me enough leeway that we don't shoot our own guy in the back here. Eh. Waiting for orders. Commencing alpha strike. Oh well. Had to try it. Let's try and block this road a little bit. On my way. Standing by. All right, you know where he is. You know what to do. There it is. Oof. Uh, let's hope we don't hit ourselves. Beautiful. There it is, folks. Okay, 196,000. That should cover repairs. Quite handily, I think. I mean, the damage was spread across all of us, so it shouldn't be that bad, I don't think. Oh, heavy MRM 30. Oh, all five parts of this guy. I think we do that. As much as oh, you did have an Ultra 20. We've already got one, though, so we're okay. No, I think we do this. That's really the only choice. Look at all this stuff. Look at this stuff. All right, we're going this route. All right, we still only got two parts. MML 20 Pirate. What the hell, 14 tons? Packed together from three different launchers. <laughs> I'm actually impressed that it won't blow up in your face. I'm sure it will at some point. Heavy Pharaoh. Oh, beautiful. Heavy uh, medium range missile swarm. Okay, LRM Hydra. Oh my god, we know where that's going. That's going to go into the... Um, into the uh, trebuchet. I think so. Uh, heavy Pharaoh. 140 core. Okay, not bad. Not bad. We got some case too, which is really nice because we actually need this stuff. Alright. Okay, 20,000. I'm really hoping that urban mech is compatible with the other parts because I'm not convinced that it will be. Hey, let's have a look here. Uh, doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. Yeah, it's not compatible with anything. Damn, you know, we're still working on it. I mean, we could put together this guy, but I, I don't... That would just be a waste. At five parts, we want to make sure we get the woman that we want. So that's what we're going to do. We'll wait. But that's still nice, though. Two of these parts, if we can find any more that risk urban max, we can probably put one together. That's nice hard points. I mean, by the time we get enough parts, we've, we'll probably be into medium max anyway. But it'd be nice to stay light for quite a while. I do I do like the uh, the quick combat of the light max. It's kind of nice. All right, we're going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. I think we'll jump planets now. I think we're, I think one and a half skulls is kind of where we should be at. So I think that's what we'll stick with. So we'll jump planets and see if I can find something in one around the one and a half skull range. All right. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.